my name is uh, Johannes Wendelberg. Um, I'm a geologist working for Total in Paris in the exploration department. And uh, as such, um, we are looking into uh, new opportunities. And one of the new opportunities that we're looking into are gas shales um, all over the world. And um, so since I have been involved in technology throughout my career, in my previous jobs with Shell and with the IFP, um, I'm very interested in the challenges, the technical challenges um, you know, of gas shales in exploration and production of these resources. Yeah, gas shales are um, uh, reservoir rocks that contain, as, a shale, as, a, as, a, as it says, gas. Um, but these are shales, so they're very tight rocks um, and with very low permeability, um, from which we want to produce the gas. The interesting thing about gas shales is that they are extremely widespread because, uh, first of all, shales are very widespread and shales that contain um, organic matter that could uh, produce gas are also very widespread. This is um, a so-called resource play because they're so widespread. So we can um, produce them uh, wherever we find them and uh, therefore um, our exploration strategy is also different from uh, conventional um, rocks. The interesting thing about gas shells is that they are reservoir and source rock at the same time. That is, they are the rocks where the gas is generated, but that's also uh, the rocks where the gas is produced from. The problem with them is that they are so tight and have such a low probability that you cannot produce them uh, just by natural depletion. You need to help uh, the rock to get the gas out of it. And you do that by um, artificially uh, fracking the rock by injecting water at such a high pressure that it fracks the rock and these fractures will then create the permeability and the, like, the, the pathways to the well so that you can produce them. What, what you need, of course, is first of all a good, um, uh, high enough uh, organic uh, material density and um, you need a large um, extent of it because you need to drill a lot of wells. And of course you need uh, enough gas so that uh, the wells that produce them will produce at sufficient quantities. Yes, the gas shells have only recently um, uh, received the attention because the technology to produce from them, to frack them uh, and, and to produce from them has only been recently really up to the point that it's economic to do that. Um, and the other thing is, of course, you need to drill a lot of wells. And so each well cannot be that expensive if you, if you need to drill so many wells. So it's all about the economics of the wells and the technology of the drilling and fracking that enabled us to uh, unlock this new resource.